friends welcome in our own teacher channel class 10th science workshop 2 lesson number 10 disaster management subscribe my channel and to get notification touch the bell icon in workshop 1 we have seen from question 1 to question 3 if you have not seen then video link is given in description box question 4 on the basis of the structure of disaster management authority from the same from your school under school management there is medical officer headmaster and representative of parents under headmaster there is teacher of disaster management then class teacher then representative of student again boy and girl question 5 you write down the reasons effects and remedial measures taken for any two disasters experienced by you motor accident reasons driving vehicles at high speed and losing control of vehicle vehicle in damaged condition effects it may result in injury to people loss of life etc remedy the victim must be given medical help or shifted to medical center flood reasons excessive rain and rise in level of river water effects collapsing of bridges massive loss of life and property remedy evacuate low lying areas and seek shelter in elevated areas question 6 which different aspects of disaster management would you check for your school why the various aspects of disaster management which i would check for my school are as follows one emergency exit for easy evacuation during disasters like fire accident etc 2 keeping a functional fire extinguisher at appropriate places and training everyone about the uses of fire extinguishers 3 first aid training to teachers and other staff of the school as well as students 4 conducting materials for various disasters so that everyone is aware of the steps to be taken for disaster redressal question 7 identify the types of disaster terrorism international man made disaster soil erosion geological disaster forest fire biological disaster related to plants it can also be classified as man made disaster in certain cases hepatitis biological disaster caused by viruses famine drought famine or drought is a type of atmospheric geophysical disaster theft 
इंटरनेशनल मैनमेड डिजास्टर क्वेश्चन एट सम सिंबल्स आर गिवन बिलो एक्सप्लेन दो सिंबल्स विच डिजास्टर्स मे ऑकर इफ दो सिंबल्स आर इग्नोर्ड दिस सिंबल इंडिकेट्स वॉर्निंग दिस सिंबल मे बी सीन ऑन सम सब्सटेंसेस विच वॉज टेम्पररी और लेस सीरियस हेल्थ हजार्स such as burning sensation irritation etc this symbol represents acute toxic substances acute toxic substances are harmful even on single exposure the action of such substances is rapid and can be fatal exposure to radiation certain chemicals and poisonous gases are example of toxic substances this symbol indicates environmental hazard these substances are harmful to environment or aquatic life with long lasting effects greenhouse gases are harmful to environment also some detergents are harmful to aquatic life this symbol indicates the substance responsible for long term health hazards substances that causes cancer and respiratory problems such as asthma this symbol indicates corrosive substances corrosive substances are most acids such as concentrated hydrochloric acid nitric acid etc these substances emit corrosive vapor which can damage respiratory tract inhaled and cause severe damage to eyes this symbol known as flame over circle is indicative of substances which help to intensify fire oxidizers as such as oxygen chlorine fluorine hydrogen peroxide are such substances which help intensifying the fire this symbol indicates flammable substances substances which can catch fire readily upon heating or exposure to ignition source spark etc are flammable substances this symbol indicates explosive substances that may explode when exposed to heat fire shock etc these substances need to be carefully managed this symbol indicates compressed gas cooking gas cylinder contains pressurized gases these gases are flammable under normal condition but explosive when pressurized in a cylinder gas cylinders should be handled carefully question 9 explain that why is it said like that mock drill is useful mock drill is conducted to check the preparedness of the people in a locality premise or building to face a disaster it helps to judge the efficacy of the system prepared for disaster redressal virtual situation of disaster is created to check the reaction time 
for any type of disaster trained personnel observe their responsibilities to check execution of plan designed for disaster redressal mock drill is arranged on disaster of fire in various schools by the firefighters it includes the demonstration like extinguishing the fire rescuing the people trapped at higher floors of building etc effective disaster management makes us well prepared for future any type of disaster whether the minor or major short term or long term needs to the overcome and hence effective disaster management is important disaster management involves either prevention of disaster or making a required arrangements to face it disaster management includes the use of scientific methods to obtain data and its careful observation and analysis for achieving and improving the capability to face the disaster based on this analysis attempts can be made to minimize the losses the data also helps to prepare action plans for future disasters by studying various aspects of disaster such as preventive measures rehabilitation and reconstruction and the method of effective execution of the plan thus effective disaster management makes us well prepared for future question 10 complete the following chart properties of pre disaster management 1 identify the pro disaster areas 2 using intensity maps and hazard maps to collect information about intensity of disaster 3 getting special training for disaster management 4 increasing awareness about disaster management among the general public question 11 following are the pictures of some disasters how will be your pre and post disaster management in case you face any of those disasters this picture shows gas leak from a lpg cylinder pre disaster management the gas cylinder and the rubber tubes used must be certified gas cylinders must be properly checked for leakage from pipe nozzle or any other part while installing post disaster management do not try to turn on or turn off any electrical appliances in the surrounding area put out all flames incense sticks etc turn off the lpg regulator and immediately put off the safety cap this picture shows a fight between school boys in playground pre disaster management rules should be set while playing any sport in school playground so as to avoid arguments post disaster management in case of a dispute or argument arising during playing the sport leader or the monitor must immediately intervene and try to resolve the argument if the matter becomes serious 
it must be brought to the notice of the school authorities this picture shows heavy rains and floods pre disaster management keep supplies such as flashlight and extra batteries candles first aid kit emergency dry food items and drinking water essential medicines etc ready evacuate low lying area where the chances of water logging are more post disaster management try to move to elevated areas which are not flooded this picture shows a cyclone pre disaster management if residing in cyclone prone area or near sea coast keep supplies such as flashlight and extra batteries candles first aid kit emergency dry food items and drinking water essential medicines cash etc ready in case of getting notice from the authorities and if living on the coast or on a flood plain near a river etc evacuate immediately post disaster management stay indoors and away from windows and glass doors close all interior doors secure and brace external doors so friends thanks for watching this video if you have any query then please comment me